Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we have one more exciting requirement to discuss. This is the requirement. In this, we have to create 50 catalog items and accordingly 50 workflows. So for that, we have certain questions in mind. Let me show you the questions. The very first one is we have to organize the work so that we'll complete the work as soon as possible. And for that, we have to do some smart work and we have to take care of the future changes as well. So after all the thinking, we have certain solution. Let me show you. So in order to reduce the time and do the smart work, we have three options which we will implement in the solution. First of all, variable sets because our catalog items are quite general. It does not have much difference in the catalog fields or you say variables. So we will use variable sets so that one variable set can be used in all the catalog items or to maximum catalog items. The second thing is we use generic workflows. As we have seen that the workflow of these 50 catalog items are not much different means there are different approvals there are different task groups as well as in some we have manager approvals in some we do not have likewise we have uh, group approvals and in some we do not have group approval so what we have decided we have to create a generic workflow and the same workflow can be used with all the catalog items without having much trouble without having much changes and to accomplish the generic workflow we have to create an approval short of table so that we will do most of the configurations in that table and from the workflow we just read it so that there is very less need to make changes in the workflow you see when we use generic workflow there is a component of reusability time saving minimum customization because we are not making changes in the workflow now we are reading everything from the table okay therefore easy customization easy configuration so let's move to the demo to understand the proper explanation this is my demo instance this is the catalog item which we are using simple catalog item and the main thing is this workflow okay let me open this workflow here this is that workflow you see it is starting from here then we have set values and then finally we have an if statement where we are checking whether manager approval is required or not this is the catch here we are not adding the manager approval directly instead we are checking it because there are catalog items where manager approval is not required and in few we have the manager approval so we are checking and maintaining both the conditions okay in case of yes it will come here and add the manager approval in case of no it will go for next if where we are checking the group approval so now how we are checking it let me open the if statement here so in this if approval if you scroll to the bottom in the advanced script you see this is the script which we are using here okay here we are glide record to this particular table this is a custom table and you can name it as a approval table so let me open this table here let me open the record you see for this particular catalog item we have all the values set up already like whether it's required a manager approval or not whether group approval is required or not and these are the three values of the groups with respect to the tasks okay so every configuration which we want to do in the workflow is maintained here and from here with respect to this catalog item we are capturing the details in the workflow so you see here i am checking for the current catalog item if the manager approval is required or not okay if it is required it will send true otherwise it will return false and based on that this if activity work so this workflow will work according to the values which are available in the approval table okay likewise you can add certain other values as well if you want to add it from this okay like delivery days configuration item and any other value which you want to pop up so likewise it will come here in this group approval activity okay under group approval activity also we have the same logic we are reading the value from the approval table for this particular catalog item okay 
and then again if it is yes that is group approval is required I am setting the value of group approval and we are getting the value again from the approval table this is catalog item this is the table this is the add query for the current catalog item and then we are pushing the approval group okay that's the approval group so if we check for this catalog item that is demo attachment copy we have the approval group as cab approval so like this all these activities will work and then we have task 1 task 2 task 3 all these tasks are available right let me open task 2 you see this code in this we are again checking for the current catalog item and then we are attaching the assignment group 2 to this particular task okay and that assignment group 2 is coming from here okay so like this we will add all the values in this workflow and if you want to create a new workflow it is very simple we just need to come here and copy this workflow and provide the name okay that is uh, let's say third workflow okay so our next workflow is ready let me publish it so now we have to attach this workflow to the corresponding catalog item and then we have to create a record in the approval table with respect to that catalog item right I hope you are getting it like here we have to create new select the catalog item okay we have the list of catalog items here let's say test one right and then provide uh, all the configuration value whatever needed here okay so like this you can create your own catalog approval table this is a simple custom table and these all are the custom fields you can delete or update or create any new fields as per your choice so like this we understand the concept of generic workflow and the approval tables you can do so in case you have such a huge requirement of uh, creating a number of catalog items so i hope you understand this concept now subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye